What is up guys, how are y'all doing? What we're doing today is something that we've been needing to do for a very long time on the Evo 8. What we're gonna be starting on today is re-powder coating the disgusting, nasty Brembo brake calipers on the car. Let's head in the shop and I'm gonna show you how freaking nasty these things are right now. They're so bad. This is how the calipers currently look on the car. As you can see, a bunch of coating is peeling off and like worn off. They're very, very faded. There's a front, let's just check out a rear. Rears may even be more faded. That is freaking disgusting. Wow, 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 wow. This video is sponsored by Prismatic Powders. So guys, if you need any powder whatsoever, if you're powder coating, head over to Prismatic Powders. They have so many different colors. I've actually used them so much in the past. These calipers right here, these beautiful Brembos right here for the FRS are actually done by Prismatic Powders. Their colors are absolutely amazing. They flow out well. They look absolutely amazing when the color is all cured. Guys, go check them out. They'll be linked down in the description box below. Now, I'm actually not redoing these in the OEM red color. You guys will see what color we're gonna be doing when we start powder coating. It's gonna be an absolutely amazing color. The reason I'm not doing red on here is because I have red on the Evo 10. And I figured on this car, I wanna do something a little different. It's not gonna be that green either. You guys probably already know what it is, but it's gonna be an absolutely amazing color. It's gonna pop, it's gonna look sick behind the XD9s. Yeah, I'm hyped on this color, guys. It's gonna be so sick. One more thing before we get this video started. For everyone that wanna adjust the Boston logo, it is now up on the website in two packs and in four packs. First link in the description box below. Guys, go check out the stickers. If you wanna cop just the logo itself, there you go, they're up on the website. And just so you guys know, I do include one Vossen logo with every single order made on the website. Let's get started. First thing we need to do, of course, pull off the wheels, pull off the calipers. Very, very simple to do, let's jump into it. To pull these Evo 10 wheels off, all I need is a 22 millimeter socket on my impact, the little lug key, and these wheels will come right off. The wheels are off, time to move on to the calipers. Let's start with these fronts. So all we need is a 19 millimeter socket or a wrench, I'll probably use a ratchet wrench. And there's just two bolts back here holding the caliper onto the hub. Before I pull the caliper off the hub assembly, I'm gonna pull the brake line off the caliper. So it is just a 12 millimeter banjo bolt right here. Pull that banjo bolt off, it's gonna leak some brake fluid out. So grab a drain pan and throw it under where you think the, the fluid is gonna hit the floor. On this car, it actually happens to be a 14 millimeter banjo bolt. Both front calipers are removed. As I'm pulling these off, I am keeping all of the hardware with each side. So here's both mounting bolts and here's the banjo bolt with both of the crush washers on it. Make sure you don't lose those crush washers, guys. Moving on to the rear calipers, it is the same exact process. Bolts on the backside on the rears are actually 17 millimeter. We got all the calipers off. Look how freaking crusty these things are. <laughs> that is so bad. I think these may be the worst calipers I've ever seen. I don't know, I do have another set that are pretty bad too, but I don't know if they're worse than these or not. Holy crap. All right, next step, plug the holes where the brake line went on and sandblast all of the factory coating off. The reason I'm not pulling them apart right now is so I don't get so much sand in there so we don't have to spend so much time cleaning them out afterwards. If we pull everything apart right now, we'd have to plug way more stuff off. So it's just way easier to plug only that hole right now, sandblast everything, and then we can pull them all apart when we go to powder coat. So I believe I have some plugs in here. Perfect fit. That is what we're looking for. Next up is to pull these pins out and get the pads off. So all you need for that is a hammer and like a little punch. All you're gonna do is punch these pins right out of the caliper and the pads will fall off. All right, they're all pulled apart, ready to go. Before I start sandblasting, I am gonna give them a quick degrease and cleaning just so I don't contaminate all my sand. These things are absolutely disgusting, so I wanna get a majority of that dirt and grease off of there. They are all cleaned up. Next thing I'm gonna do is head over to the sandblaster, get them all sandblasted, every single speck of this factory coating off, all of the dirt, grease, grime, whatever. Get all that sandblasted off so the new powder can stick and cure properly. We got the calipers all sandblasted. Next step is to pull them all the way apart. There are four Allen heads on the back of each caliper and then pull this brake line off as well. I'm gonna sandblast all this separately to get them all nice and cleaned up. Pull the seals out, pull the pistons out and get started on the powder coating process. Sandblasting definitely took the longest. I would say it took about two hours to get these calipers to the point they are now. Before I disassemble the caliper though, I am gonna try to pop these pistons out using compressed air. Thank you. 
all of the calipers are completely disassembled. I'm gonna go ahead and sandblast all of the hardware just to get all the finishing paint off. There's little specks here and there and some of those bleeders were corroded a little bit. The next step is gonna be to very meticulously clean everything up. If there's any sand whatsoever left in them, it'll probably cause a caliper piston to seize up, meaning your brakes are not gonna work. So guys, spend some time, use the greaser, use some brushes, use whatever you need to use, use the ultrasonic cleaner if you want. Get these things cleaned up as best as you can. There cannot be any sand whatsoever left in. The next step is going to be to mask everything off. So we're gonna mask where the pistons go on both sides of the caliper, and then we're gonna actually bolt the caliper back together. So we don't have to mask that or that. And then we're gonna have to mask where the bleeder valves go. I'm gonna put this thing back on as well, just so that matches the color. I don't want that silver in the rest of the caliper, the proper color. So we're gonna mask off these piston holes, bolt the caliper together using those four bolts, bolt this brake line back on. As soon as we get that done, we can start powder coating. Are you ready to see the color we are doing on these calipers? Let's check it out. This is Illusion Blueberry. It is a very insane color. Huge shout out to Prismatic Powders for sending this out. The thing with this color here, the Illusion series colors, you have to do the base coat, which is obviously the color, and then you have to do a clear top coat to actually get the color to pop out. So I've never done this before. I'm very curious to see how it's gonna turn out. The photos I was looking at online of this color is just absolutely mind blowing. I am so pumped to get this done. Let's get started. I got the oven preheated to 400 degrees. The blue itself, I'll be baking it at 400 degrees for 12 minutes. But before I do any of that, I'm gonna get the caliper in the oven for 10 minutes beforehand. There's a few reasons why I do this. Number one, it bakes all the impurities out. I know I say this every powder coating video, bakes all the impurities out. Number two, it allows my powder to stick to the caliper or whatever we're powder coating a lot better. The system I have is a very cheap Eastwood system. It's like a hundred dollars. It's not a professional system whatsoever. Typically you should be able to just connect this right here to the part, hit this little button to electromagnetically charge the part to let the powder stay on. But being that it's such a cheap system, it doesn't really work like that. So I found out that if you have the part warm, the powder sticks a lot better from the get go. So I'm gonna get this first caliper in the oven for 10 minutes pull it out, spray the blue on there, put it back in. And as soon as the part itself reaches 400 degrees, I'll start the timer for 12 minutes. We're gonna pull it back out, spray the clear coat, put it back in the oven. And the clear coat bakes at 455 degrees, part metal temperature for 18 minutes. I know that's all very confusing, but stick with me guys. Hopefully we can get this figured out. So once again, step one, we have the oven at 400 degrees. I have the caliper in there. I'm gonna leave it in for 10 minutes and then I'll pull it out, spray the blue, throw it back in there. In the meantime, we can get all the rest of the calipers masked off and ready to go. One thing I did and I completely forgot to mention is before I put the caliper in the oven, I'm wiping it down with this acetone right here just to get any little dirt specks, dust specks off of them. We already went through and cleaned them very good, but guys, you don't want anything on them. So just go ahead, wipe it down with acetone real quick. It only takes a second. Let's get the rest of these calipers masked off so we can just bang through these things. I do think I'm gonna do the rotors as well, just the hub part right there. Obviously not where the brake pads ride, but just the hub setter because the fronts are pretty rusty and I don't like that look. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped. I think this blue is going to look very good. I do plan on doing some other blue stuff on the car. All right, guys, the Calvar has been in there for 10 minutes. We can pull it out. I'm going to set it up here to spray it out. We got the powder coating system all set up here. I didn't really walk you guys through that, but basically one end goes to the air compressor, other end goes to electricity. This clip right here has to connect on the part somewhere that we're powder coating. And as we're spraying the gun, we're holding this down and that's supposedly electromagnetically charging the caliper. So the powder will stick before it's fully baked on. Should be sticking fine though because the caliper is a little bit warm. Let's get it pulled out and get it coated. All right, that's what the caliper looks like right now. It's not the most pretty thing in the world, but I'm just gonna grab this flashlight right here, kind of shine over it and make sure there's no light areas that I missed with the blue before we throw it back in the oven. All right, all right, everything looks good. We can throw it back in the oven for 12 minutes as soon as the caliper itself reaches 400 degrees. I'm guessing it's gonna take about five minutes to reach 400 degrees.
that first caliper has three minutes left in the oven. So what I'm gonna do right now is switch this gun over to the clear powder. I'm just gonna pull this hamper off right here. Probably a pretty good idea to try to get most of this blue off there just so it doesn't contaminate the clear at all. So I'm gonna grab just some compressed air, blow that down real quick, and then throw it on this one right here that has all the clear coat in it. Ew. So that is how it looks right now. Very dull looking, but I, I'm really hoping when we apply the clear coat, it's really gonna shine that up because that is not what I'm going after at all. We got the clear coat laid down, still looking really, really flat. I hope that shines up. I turned the oven down to 355 degrees. This caliper is now gonna go back in for 18 minutes as soon as it reaches uh, part metal temperature at 355 degrees. Let's go check out this caliper. Hopefully it looks like we need it to. Oh man, that is gorgeous. So you're probably wondering why I didn't put the Brembo decal on first and then clear coat them like you're supposed to do. It's because I don't know exactly what color of decal I wanted to do. I have some black ones sitting over here that I'm gonna try to throw on. These ones are here, but I don't know if that black is gonna pop enough against that uh, darker blue. So I may switch them over to white. That is why I didn't go ahead and throw the decal on and then clear coat it. All right guys, I got the sticker on. Honestly, you can't even really tell it's there. Like from a distance, look. You can kind of tell it's there, but I don't know. I might switch those out for white. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go ahead, bust out the rest of these calipers real quick, and then we can get all the new seals in, the pistons on, get them bolted back together, and get them on the car. Well guys, I just put the very last caliper in the oven for the last time, just got the clear coat laid on there. It is currently one o'clock in the morning. I started this project at seven o'clock this yesterday morning. So I've been working at this all day nonstop, except for the exception of a three hour break to go hit the gym real quick. This is a very long process, but the end result is so worth it. Look at the color on these calipers. Freaking amazing. I'm so, so glad I went with this color. Once again, huge shout out to Prismic Powders. It'll be linked down in the description box below. Guys, go check out their powders. They have the most amazing powders. They flow out perfectly. Never once have had an issue with flow out whatsoever. They have any color you could ever think of. So make sure you go check them out, prismaticpowders.com. Go down in the comment section below. What do you think? Should I run black decals on here? I already have the black decals. Or should I go with white? Something that's gonna stand out a bit more. Eventually, I do kind of want to powder coat the wheels white as well, the X-T9s. So just keep that in mind when you're guessing down below. I think white decals with the blue calipers with the white wheels, maybe with like blue lug nuts or something, I think all that would flow very, very good. So go drop a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the morning. What up guys, it's now the next morning. Last thing to do is pull these brake rotors off, get them powder coated, assemble the calipers with all the new seals and pistons and all that, and then get them on the car, get them bled, and we're done. All right, my friends, the rotors are all powder coated, ready to go. The last thing to do is to assemble all the calipers. We have new seals. I'll have the seals for the Evo 8 and 9 calipers. They may be the same for 10 as well. I'll have those linked down in the description box below. I'm using the pistons that were in there. All I'm doing is new seals. It's very, very easy to do, guys. Don't overcomplicate it. Let me show you how it's done. All right, what you're gonna wanna do is grab some assembly lube. I use this red line assembly lube right here, the red stuff, and we're gonna put a little bit on that seal, get the seal inside the caliper. It's gonna sit right inside that little groove in there, guys. Slips right in. You'll know when it's in place. So lube that seal up. We're gonna grab our dust seal. We're gonna put the dust seal on the piston first, slide the piston in, and this dust seal is gonna clip right into the outer groove right there. It's gonna sit just like that. As soon as you get both seals in, we can put these two halves of the caliper together. On this specific caliper, there's a little O-ring that sits right in between here. So go ahead and make sure you get that in place. Throw a little dab of 
assembly lube on that just to hold it in place. And now we can grab this piece here and get our four bolts in. Put your little brake bleeders on. And as soon as we get this caliper on the car, I'm gonna reach back here with an Allen wrench and torque all of those bolts down. But yeah, caliper number one is all finished up. That's how she looks. Looking absolutely amazing. I'm gonna bang out the rest of these and we can get the calipers onto the car. What do you guys think of the color? Let me know in the comment section below. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I'm so hyped I went with this color. <laughs> That's why your face is sparkly. Can I have these? For what? It'll match my tips on my Jenny better. Are these for me? Are you surprising me again? Calipers are all fully assembled with all the pads and shims ready to go. On these rotors over here, I ended up throwing just a bit of black paint up top. The reason I didn't powder coat this area right here is that's where the wheel bolt's on. You don't want that powder to wear off eventually and slowly lose some of the lug nuts, then your wheel falls off. So I just did a tiny thin layer of paint. That should be perfectly fine there. Um, I'll just retorque them in about a couple hundred miles and we should be good. But yeah, we're ready to go get these things on the car and get the system bled. I got my girlfriend Bobby over here to help me bleed the brakes on this car. Dang, that looks good, especially from back here. When you really get a good look at her. Oh no, where'd your head go? <laughs> Ooh. I dig it. Yeah, they look good. I should have done orange though. What? Yeah, orange would have been lit. No. You like it? Yeah. Sick, should we bleed them? Let's bleed them. Okay. <laughs> All right, pump it three times. Okay, ready? Yep, good. All right, hold it down. All righty, pump it up. I shouldn't run it for too long in the enclosed garage when I get high as fuck. <laughs> All right guys, well, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna run to town real quick, grab the decals for my calipers. I think we're gonna go with white. I don't know, what do you think, babe? What looks better, black or white? We have different styles. I do black, but white would look good too. What would you guys, what do you guys think? Like I said earlier, let me know in the comment section below what you would like better on these calipers, the white or the black? For the Brembo stickers. For the Brembo stickers, yes. Let's throw these wheels on, go for drive and see how they feel. I guess you're not gonna feel any different with a different color. <laughs> All right guys, I got the white stickers made. Let's go ahead, jack the car up, throw them on the brake calipers and see how they look. I think they're gonna look absolutely amazing compared to the black. But like I said earlier, let me know in the comment section below. So there it is with the white decal that is on the driver's side. Here it is with the black decal on the passenger side. What do you guys think? I think the white stands out a lot more and it makes the blue pop way harder. Make sure you go down in the comment section below and drop a comment. Let me know what you prefer. That is gonna be it for this video. Once again, huge shout out to Prismatic Powders for sending over the blue and the clear coat for these calipers. Turned out absolutely amazing. If you have any questions whatsoever regarding powder coat or rebuilding calipers whatsoever, drop a comment down below. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.